In a prior demonstration, we saw that electronic energy levels in atoms are quantized. And I pointed out how unusual that seems compared to the continuum of energies that can be accessed by, say, throwing a rock. However, we are all familiar with quantized phenomena at the macroscopic level, although we don't necessarily think of them that way. For instance, an organ pipe of a given size can only emit certain tones when air vibrates within it. If you want a different tone, you have to make a pipe of a different size. In this apparatus, I have a motor that is going to drive this large string in such a way to generate a wave. The other end of my string is fixed, so that it must always be in the same position. A mathematician or a physicist might call this a boundary condition, that is, a condition that must be satisfied at the edge of a system. Such boundary conditions can often lead to quantized phenomena and are present in many ways at the microscopic level, but here we'll see an illustration at the macroscopic level. So when I turn the motor on, I can adjust the speed and notice that the motion of the string is rather chaotic until I hit one certain point I generate a so-called standing wave. The system is seemingly indefinitely stable in its behavior. Now if I turn the speed up more the motion again becomes chaotic until a certain rate of speed at which I hit a new standing wave. See how this one has one position in the center where the band neither goes up nor down. That is called a node, and we can call this new wave an overtone, or a first harmonic of the original wave that had no nodes. In general, in wave mechanics, the more nodes, the more energy. If we turn the speed up still higher, we may be able to hit the second overtone. And there it is. See how it has two nodes? With a powerful enough motor, we could continue to access higher and higher overtones. But for now, let's just take this as another example of a quantized phenomenon and note that in atoms and molecules, such phenomena will ultimately play an important role in how they store and distribute energy.